Hi, good morning. In today's video, I'm going to look at a very in, a nice integral. This is improper integral set as i equal to sine x over x dx as x goes from 0 to plus infinity. Okay. If you take a look at the denominator, we have the one singularity here. So I'm going to use the complex analysis in order to evaluate this integral by choosing upper half semicircle with a radius r. Okay. Let's construct this semicircle. This is this is OX axis with the is, is representing the real numbers. Vertical axis is representing imaginary number in coordinate in the complex coordinate plane. Okay. So this is the origin O. So this is the upper half semicircle okay so by going this direction anti-clockwise direction okay let's call this contour gamma okay so when you get to the point let's call it minus r in the negative area we are going to work along this x axis when you hit this point before we hit the origin zero we are going to to make a small detour Okay, by jumping this uh, point O, because it's considered as a pool, okay, minus epsilon, epsilon, so we have a small, we have a small semicircle with a radius epsilon here, so we have a big semicircle with a radius R, okay, let's call this small detour gamma, when you get at a specific point, let's call it R, okay, so I'm going to make the sum of this integral over this contour, let f of z. So the integral of f of z, dz, over this contour c, let's call it contour c here, equal to the integral from minus r to minus epsilon f of z, dz, plus this integral, let's call it gamma integral f of z, dz plus this integral from epsilon to r f of z dz okay plus this integral over this counter let's call it uh, gamma f of z over gamma dz equal to what equal to zero because we are going to apply the cauchy theorem so the sum of integral over the contour or inside of the contour equal to zero if we don't have no pools okay because there is no pools because the pool that we have it was zero but we jump over it okay so we take a small detour that's why we take this a small detour okay and go around it and then keep going okay okay if you put the sum of the integral is included this singularity which is a pool at the point zero it will be not equal to zero because the, this is the Cauchy theorem Okay, so now we go to zero. Let's put it in different color to make it more clear. So now I'm going to split this integral. I'm going to calculate one by one over this interval minus r minus epsilon. We have z equal to x because we are working alone x axis. Okay, the integral from minus r to minus epsilon f of z dz uh, e to the i x over x dx from plus epsilon to the r because we are keep going on over uh, x axis so we'll have from epsilon to r f of z dz equal from epsilon to r so in order to to have the same bounds i'm going to make the substitution in the first integral okay if you make this is substitution x equal to minus u okay i'm going to change this one if you differentiate this one is giving you dx equal to minus du okay minus r which is r epsilon e to the minus i x minus i u over minus u minus du okay <coughs> so this minus with this minus will be cancelled out so I have from R to 
epsilon i'm going to switch so it doesn't matter if we change this variable to the x because it will be the same thing x dx over x i'm going to switch this this bounds we will put minus epsilon minus epsilon i put epsilon r with minus sign outside because i'm because i switched i'm going to add the first integral on this second integral so we'll have e to the i x as a complex number over x dx plus epsilon to r with this minus because we have minus sign outside with minus i x over x okay dx i'm going to put this integral together so we will have epsilon r with the same bounds e to the i x minus the minus i x over x dx okay i multiply this integral by 2i and divide by 2i 2i so this one is a sine x okay this is sine x this is the earlier formula 2i from epsilon to r sine x over x dx okay so we have evaluated this one let's set as a theta the theta is between 0 and pi okay so we have this integral f of z dz over gamma equal to this integral I'm going to replace z with this value e to the epsilon is multiplied by e to i theta okay over epsilon e theta is multiplied i'm going to differentiate this one i will have i is multiplied by a theta okay d theta i put the pi to zero okay because so this one is going anti-clockwise direction from zero to pi but this one is going the small detour is going in the clockwise direction okay i'm going to simplify a few things here this one is going to cancel out this epsilon is going to cancel out so i will left with so i will have so the integral i'm going to switch this bound put my sign outside i'm going to put this i outside as well from zero to so pi i will have e to the i epsilon e theta okay d theta so minus i from zero to pi to e epsilon but be careful here i'm going to replace this one with the euler formula so we'll have so we'll have cosine theta plus i sine theta okay d theta since m7 goes to the zero so the whole thing equal to the zero okay so that's mean e to the zero equal to one that's mean minus i from zero to pi d theta because this this the whole this entire thing equal to zero okay so the entire thing equal to one because the epsilon equal to zero, that's mean this term equal to zero. E to the zero equal to one. Okay? When you apply the limit as epsilon is approaching to the zero. So this the entire thing here equal to zero. That's mean minus i from zero to pi e to the zero d theta, which is minus i zero pi d theta. Okay? So this one equal to minus i pi. I'm going to show the integral over the gamma equal to zero as well, okay? So what I'm going to do now, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show the integral over gamma equal to zero, okay? So I will have, let's set z equal to r is multiplied by a e to the i theta as theta between zero to pi, okay? And also, we have we have the we have the theta if the theta between from zero to pi over two. We have this formula. We have the sine of theta 
is inferior is a superior or equal to 2 over pi theta okay if you apply the mean value theorem you will show this one it's easy to show it okay so now i'm going to put the integral of z dz equal to equal to e to the i z over z dz over gamma equal to from 0 to pi e to the i by replacing z with r is multiplied by e to the i theta over z which is r e to the i theta I'm going to differentiate this one I will have r i is multiplied by e theta e theta I'm going to cancel out this one so this one and this one so I will have e theta I'm going to replace e to the i theta with the earlier formula be careful calculating this one because we have that this one is combined with the real numbers and imaginary numbers so we have to show this one by applying the by applying the order formula okay so i will have i to the r is multiplied by is multiplying by cosine theta plus i sine theta okay i will put this i outside of this integral we'll have this one d theta what i'm going to do now i'm going to make the product of this one so we'll have i from 0 to pi e to the i r cosine theta is multiplied by e so i will multiply i by i is giving you minus i square which is minus one so my will have minus r sine theta d theta okay so what i'm going to do now i'm going to apply the absolute value on both sides so i will have this one so this one equal to one okay so this one equal to one because because the modulo of i equal to one because if you if you make the modulo of this one e to the r i theta this one go, gonna go to the one because it's because we are calculating the modulo of this one equal to r which is z equal to r okay so that's mean this part uh, this part this one is inferior or equal to the integral from 0 to pi absolute value of e r cosine theta cosine theta is multiplied by e to the minus r sine theta okay d theta so this one as you see since this one is a real number the whole thing will the whole thing equal to one because we have the module of this one because the module of this one equal to one since one is a real so the whole thing equal to one okay module of this one so module of this one equal to one is multiplying by this one is inferior equal to minus r sine theta okay the integral from zero to pi d theta so in the last word i was working on the on the integral of gamma of this contour okay so i have ended with this expression what i'm going to do now in order to evaluate this integral i'm going to split this integral into two parts this integral of gamma dz is inferior or equal to from zero to pi over two minus r sine theta d theta plus from pi over two to the pi e minus r sine theta d theta okay so i'm going to show this integral equal to this integral okay by putting the substitution here by putting theta equal to pi minus t okay if we replace theta with pi i will have t equal to zero okay so this one i will have I will have t minus pi and this one I will have minus dt okay sine of t minus pi equal to sine t so this one so this one I will 
it will be transferred to the the same variable so we'll have t with this minus you're gonna go with this minus outside so i'm going to switch this integral from 0 to pi from 0 to pi over 2 so with with this minus will be cancelled out so i can return to the original integral by changing the variable so it doesn't matter if you return the original variable which is theta d theta because it will be the same value because the integral never changed the value so the integral will be equal to, to the same value okay so now the whole thing you call two times this one this integral from zero to pi over two you minus r sine theta d theta so the integral of, of, of z dz is inferior this is pi over 2 as a, as a bound minus pi over 2 r this one is giving me my with this minus pi over 2 will be cancelled out i will have minus r okay minus 1 because if you plug in, if you plug 0 into into theta is giving you uh, one okay so when r is going to the infinity this one is going to the zero this one is go to the zero with this one we'll have pi over two r uh, so r is going to infinity this one is go to the zero so since equal to zero that's mean this integral f of z dz okay equal to zero I'm going to plug everything into the expression in order to evaluate our integral. It was sine of x over x. Okay. As epsilon goes to the zero, we proved the gamma integral over this small contour. We found minus pi i. Okay. So we found also the integral over gamma by applying a Jordan theorem. We found zero. So the plus zero by applying the the cauchy theorem the sum of all these integrals equal to zero okay so that's mean i'm going to solve this now this integral so i will have two i from zero to plus infinity sine x over x by taking this pi i to the other side i will have pi i so this i so this i will be cancelled out hence this integral from zero to plus infinity sine x over x dx equal to pi over two okay so our integral is evaluated successfully so i have done with this problem we will see more examples in next coming videos just consider subscribe Thank you for watching. I will see you in next video. Bye.